This is the Hard House Bridge Club game. We're playing for gold points tonight. So if you caught my stream on Tuesday or Wednesday, you would have seen me play for gold points those nights as well. Wednesday was a bonus stream night for me because Alad could make it because he's hunting for those gold points. He wants to get to Life Master. Eric started playing bridge a lot later than Alad. Eric hasn't been to tournaments that give out points like candy. So Eric's not close to Life Master, but I think he still wants those gold points. So I'm playing with Eric tonight on Thursday. I'm also streaming tomorrow night, Friday, playing with Alad because Alad's uh, requested some time to rack up those gold points. And so far we have a little bit of change when it comes to gold points. We're getting started right now. We play Precision, so all of our one-level openings are limited except for one club, which is 16+. Plus. And uh, let's get started. So I have a 15 count with six diamonds. Uh, let's alert this, but uh, just like everybody else, it's uh, a one diamond opener. <clears throat> playing precision, playing standard, playing two over one. Now, uh, this hand is 15 high. Uh, I'm not in the business of jumping to three diamonds with this. Though, interestingly, East is blasting to four hearts. And that puts me in a, a, a tough spot because I have a little bit of extras for my opening. And I have to decide if this is a hand where I want to double for penalty or maybe to get partner to bid something or maybe try five diamonds. And I can't really know uh, which is the right call. And of course, we're waiting for Indrani to come back because she somehow got disconnected. Hopefully, she'll be back in a second. But assuming Indrani passes... I need to figure out if I want to pass, double, or bid five diamonds. I think that if I knew that East's four hearts was a strictly preemptive bid, I would try doubling or bidding five diamonds. But I often find that, especially when playing with newer players, people will blast to the four level with big hands, with not just great heart suits, but lots of points outside. Uh, so I'm not going to risk bidding or doubling. I'm going to pass here and then hope that uh, we're able to beat it by a trick or so. So the first thing to note is Indrani comes down with two aces and a king. Fortunately, my ace is over that king of clubs, but still, that's pretty good. So I'm going to play my six of diamonds on this, um, which uh, according to our carding agreements shows uh, an encouragement for diamonds. It also happens to be my lowest diamond, so if partner has a shift, he can shift to uh, a club because a partner plays Rusino leads. Uh, that queen of diamonds is either a singleton or a doubleton diamond. But of course, I have both the king and the jack, so it couldn't really be anything else. And I hadn't bid diamonds naturally at that point. So uh, looks like Bev has a spade void in addition to probably a diamond tripleton, possibly a diamond doubleton. And she is trumping the spade back into her hand for some reason. I would think the better thing to do is to lead up to her heart holding in hand, but uh, it seems as though she's pretty confident that the six is going to force out an honor here. So I'm winning my ace, and uh, I see nothing better to do than to hope that this diamond is cashing, and it is. And the next thing I'm going to do is play a uh, third round of diamonds, because I want to see if this will set up some something like an uppercut for partner. Will it? Uh, almost certainly not because of Bev's confidence in playing the heart suit. Bev probably has everything between the like six and the king, but it's worth a shot. And it looks like the nine is holding. And we'll see how many hearts partners started with. Note that I had one, Dummy had two, and Eric had one, meaning Bev started with nine hearts, three diamonds zero spades, and one club. So what I think I'm going to do is hold on to my ace of clubs, and I think Bev has only one club left at the end. So four hearts was not going down. If I'd bid five diamonds, I might have pushed them into five hearts, though. So it might have been the right call to do that. And I get the last one. So it looks like uh, some people end up in six hearts, which I understand pushing to when you see two aces and a king opposite a 
hand with nine hearts, but it's not there. You're off two cashing aces and another diamond. So they did well to stop in four. Had I competed to five diamonds, I think Bev probably thinks and bids five hearts. Uh, Indrani, I don't know what she would do, but I think the right thing to do is probably to just double and then hope you've got a defensive trick in there somewhere. Five diamonds doubled uh, suffers uh, the lack of entries to dummy. Uh, there's really nothing you can do if you hold up on spades. There's also like roughs available, so it's no fun all around. So one heart, two diamonds, and I have a pretty good hand here. It's 13 high, a good spade suit. I definitely need to bend my spades here because I want partner leading a spade if he has a chance. So partner's uh, now in the information that I have a spade bid here. And uh, I don't know how familiar is he, he is with my style, but unlike my partner, Alan, my vulnerable two-level overcalls tend not to be extremely shaky opposite past hands. Not just because I'm worried about doubles, but I'm also concerned that partner might take action uh, and take inference into my bid. So this bid fits fully within a normal two-spade bid. And it's put pressure on Bev. Bev's going three hearts here. I don't know uh, whether or not she's intending to show a stronger hand or she's just competing. It looks like they found their way to four hearts. So as good as my hand is, I don't have a lot of defense. Uh, so I don't see very good prospects of beating this unless I have help from partner. Partner's found a spade lead. Uh, it looks like Bev might have a spade void two hands in a row, because that looks like it might be the top of a double tip. If indeed it is, uh, then she's going to throw off some loser in her hand, and I need to decide what to do here. I'm going to play my lowest spade. Uh, Eric should be able to read the spade position uh, if Bev shows up. And if not, well, he's not going to play spades anyway. And so he'll understand that to be suit preference. Now Bev's in dummy, and she has a call to make. So she's roughing a spade back to hand. Uh, unfortunately, this is the wrong call, because I've bid spades, and I'm bidding them freely vulnerable at the two levels, so there's a very good chance that eight of spades is a singleton, especially when it's the lowest outstanding spade. If I wanted to be deceptive, I could have actually played the ten of spades on the first round of spades uh, to encourage Bev to think that the uh, spade lead from partner was uh, doubleton. Partner read my uh, suit preference correctly, but unfortunately... Uh, I just have the king, and Declare has ace queen. If she tries to rough a club now, then um, I'm well positioned. So I'm going to over rough and uh, again play my lowest outstanding spade because, again, I want partner to play clubs. He knows I'm out of clubs, and this spade card is pretty clearly suit preference. <laughs> so it's a chance we beat this. And I'll just put the 10 on this, which should be suitably discouraging. It doesn't look like a singleton. <clears throat> I wonder if partner's out of clubs. I think a, a club there is pretty clear if he has one, but we'll see. Ah, well, at least we're winning this trick. And unfortunately, there's no way to my queen of spades. Partner has another club. He's going to play it. But um, I think Bev still has hearts in her hand. No, she has another club. Oh, wow. So this didn't go well for them. Down three should be a good result for us. We can probably make two spades. Uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, diamonds are offside. Two spades might be down. So getting plus 150 against four hearts is very good. Four spades double down three. I think probably that's the, the double dummy result there. Actually, defense can, can get it down four on a diamond lead. So uh, first hand of the, of the day was fine if it ends up being below average. Uh, I guess we just should have pushed them more maybe, but I couldn't do that. So here I have uh, 11 high, 5-5 five, five in the majors. I'll open this one spade and then bid two hearts when I get a chance. The second hand, this should be a top board, uh, but if somebody finds a double of four hearts, they might do better than us. Or if they're doubled in two spades and they make four. Now, obviously, uh, I'm not going to be betting hearts here, because East is betting hearts. There's a good chance partner's got a spade raise, 
but um, we'll see. So two spades here is just a normal competitive raise. There's uh, opportunities for things like fit showing jumps and invitational bids and preemptive raises. So this is a bog standard competitive raise. Indrani probably doesn't have a heart raise here because I have five. East is overcalling vulnerable at the two level. So Indrani, if she bids hearts, it's not a real bid. But she is pausing over two spades. So I think Bev is likely to take further action. Oh, no. Wow. Good. So I get to play two spades. Um, let's see. I've got three losers in the minor suits. Uh, top two spades are off. And then, uh, interestingly, hearts are our strongest suit. If I want to win those hearts, I'm going to need to manage entries and trumps here. So... Um, well, I'm just going to follow suit here. I don't see any reason for me to do anything fancy with my carding here. I'll just give my opponent's carding standard carding. So I think I need to win this. And... While I'm at it, I think I should unblock the King of Hearts. I'm hoping hearts aren't 7-0. So now my 7 and 6 are equivalent, with the 8 showing up. Still don't know where the Ace of Spades is and the other low spade. This is fortuitous, because it means I can rough high and dummy pitch my club, and play a spade. I'm going to overtake and hope that... Okay, so now just the ace of spades is outstanding. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. Um, the hearts are probably 5-1. So I think Bev has nine, eight small of hearts, and playing another high heart's going to give away the position. So instead of doing that, I'm actually going to give up a spade here to encourage Bev to throw away a heart. No dice. But I still make it. And that's the nine hearts. All right, a fun little set of hands to start off the game. Um, one below average board, one, uh, is it a t cold top, tied for top, and then this should be a solid result. Uh, I don't think two spades is sketchy there at all. I like it. It's, um, you've got a singleton heart and three spades of the queen. If partner's leading against a no-trump contract, you want him leading a spade because you have the queen. You also might buy the contract for two spades. Um, it's pretty disruptive. The king of hearts is potentially useful on defense. Yeah, um, it ended up being a very valuable filler card for my long suit. Best hand of the table might have been Indrani's. Indrani didn't end up bidding. Uh, she had uh, 11 points with an ace and an ace queen. No, actually, the best hand is Bev's. But the opponents definitely have the balance of strength there. Their only uh, eight card fit is diamonds, though. If they're in <clears throat> a no trump contract, they can take four, five, six, seven top tricks. And then if they drop the offside king of clubs, they can take eight. On defense, there are four hearts we could run if we could unlock the suit along with a king of clubs. Uh, but that would require some lucky defense. The most likely scenario is something like a jack of clubs lead against a no trump contract, followed by, I don't know, the ace crashing the king, and then the opponents take eight tricks. Did I consider opening one club on board one? No, not worth an upgrade.
somebody managed to double four hearts and give up an extra trick on defense. Good for them. Oh, Ray did it. Good job, Ray. But um, this one, yeah, good board. And then this last one should be good for us, too. Yeah, 110 looks to be most of the match points. Had we defended three hearts, obviously we're going to get at least four tricks on defense. And uh, probably five. But uh, we definitely are happiest playing it in spades there. Looks like double dummy three hearts is down one. Uh, you just get four heart tricks. And eventually you'll score, I don't know, the five of hearts on a rough, maybe? Something like that. Or the seven of hearts. Uh, actually, let's look at the double dummy and two spades. I think two spades is always on, but I could be wrong. Um, no, it's not. So I guess that rough and discard was actually costly. Um, best defense is pretty much not letting me set up my clubs by leaving clubs. Just looking at the double dummy with the West having both club honors. Um, and let's just see where they went wrong. Uh, I think that the first two tricks were okay for them. Looks like the... Um, Killer Shift is a heart here. Uh, continuing Diamonds, um, I think, lets me untangle my entries a little better or something. If it's a heart played, I, I win my King of Hearts and Dummy. And then, I don't know, I start attacking Spades. And then, I don't know, maybe they shorten my hand's trump length or lock me in hand or something. Unclear. But I have to lose three cards in the minors, two spades, and then maybe eventually I'll have to give up a heart at the end without the ability to rough a heart. <sighs> yeah, if I try roughing a heart after winning the king of hearts and dummy, roughing a diamond back to hand, and then roughing a heart immediately, I still have to get back to hand once more. And if I play a spade out... They can put me under pressure by cashing another high spade and then tapping in diamonds. I think, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that was the first round. Went well. We're at 62.5% and we're up against Mike and Kevin. So let's say hi. And, oh gosh, well, okay. I'll ignore, but I'm sure it's exciting. So here I have a 10 count with five good hearts. I'd love to overcall with this, but it's their suit. So happy to pass. All right, so what fun contract am I going to get to defend this time? That's a forcing no trump by Kevin. So that usually denies four spades. He used a sweat word chatting to the lobby. Interesting. Two no trump here by most people's agreement shows an 18 to 19 balanced hand. So that means Kevin's probably gonna push on to game. Hmm, and indeed he is. So I don't know what Eric's gonna lead. Um, with my hand, um, a club is nice, heart is nice. Spade's actually not bad because I have the jack. Um, and uh, diamond is no good. Dummy has, in fact, 19 ballots with five hearts, so well bid. <laughs> partners, three of spades, I think should be fourth best as no trump opening leads. So I'm going to put partner with five. And of course, Kevin didn't bid a spade. So again, uh, I know partner has at least five. And with the three of spades lead, he doesn't have six. So at least I know that. Kevin has three spades, um, probably one or two hearts. And uh, I'd, put, I'd say nine cards in the minors. So here, pretty clear, jack of spades. Let's see what card this fishes out of Kevin's hand. So he ducks. And I have to decide if I want to cooperate by continuing spades or switch to my own suit. So uh, I don't really have prospects of switching to my own suit here. Uh, I think the best thing to do is probably just to continue attacking spades. And if Kevin has an entry in spades, let's target that. So it looks like we are targeting his king of spades. The king of spades is gone. What entries does he have back to his hand at this point? So uh, it looks like the nine of hearts is going to the king. I'm going to cover that. And uh, while I'm here, let's knock out the uh, queen of hearts. Now, I don't know if partner's ever going to get in, so I'm going to play my jack of hearts. 
as a false soup reference signal because I don't want uh, Kevin to take that diamond finesse. I want him making plays in clubs. I don't think Parker has any cards outside of his uh, suit. Well, it looks like a finesse works. Unfortunately for Kevin, um, I have four tricks in hand. So he's going to cash that King of Diamonds. He will probably cash the Ace of Spades, and then I can claim. So I have a 17 count. This is precision. Three no trump down two should be pretty normal. It's it's a seven good seven opposite 19 no nine card fit normal lead from partner unlucky lie of the hearts. So I expect this to not be a top board. Other people to be doing exactly the same, and uh, not really any way to get around this. So. Uh, looks like on a club lead it's down two, but on a spade lead he can get out for down one. Now how can he do that? Maybe by um, reserving entries to his hand and playing on diamonds more. Get three, four, five, six, seven. That eighth trick is a really hard trick to get. So partners, two no trump is actually showing a very strong hand here. Hopefully we can uh, work this one out. So two no trump here should show uh, something like 15 plus balanced or balanced. -ish. If partner leads the 10 of spades uh, on on that board, uh, hang on a sec. Yeah, uh, I mean, we continue spades. The spades don't actually get set up. I think actually declares best line might be to just win two rounds of spades, not hold up on spades. Double dummy, of course. And then play the hand giving up hearts to me after taking the diamond finesse and ridding me of diamonds and then eventually i have to play away from my clubs it's it's a little silly but i think that's what it is so three no trump here should show a hand with five clubs uh and now four diamonds four hearts four spades will show his exact shape over that i'm going to keep relaying his hand out So this should be specifically three, two, three, five. Okay. And we've adjusted how we're scanning for high cards here, but uh, I think Eric's on top of it. So uh, Eric at this point is going to show me the number of controls he has. Uh, we haven't talked about what the first step is uh, besides the fact that it's zero to two. Um, but in this circumstance, because he has 15 or more points, Perhaps we should define it to be like a uh, more encompassing first bid, but we haven't made that determination. So I'm going to play four no Trump as zero to two controls and then subsequent bids showing uh, that number plus one controls, depending on how high it is. So five spades here. So four no Trump is zero to two clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades. So he has six controls. That's two aces and two Kings, uh, ace, King, ace, King, um, Here, uh, we have all the high cards, right? So ace, ace, king, king. Yeah, all the aces and kings. Let's keep scanning. So the first card he's going to show here is his king of clubs, which he'll show by bypassing uh, six clubs. Uh, so clubs, his next suit, scanning suit is spades. He doesn't have anything in spades. So his correct bid is actually not six clubs, but six diamonds here to show the king of clubs and deny the spade control. However, the fact that he has so many controls makes it awkward to untangle his hand here. Uh, what I'm really looking for here is the queen of clubs, and I don't know if I can find it in time. So as no surprise, he's bidding six diamonds. So if I bid six hearts, that asks about his controls in, uh, his next suit is, is diamonds. So he has ace king of diamonds. So unfortunately his response would be six spades. And then I'm pickled in that I don't know what to do over six spades. I can't find the queen of clubs. I can't guarantee he has it. All I can do is go six no trump 
and hope that uh, we don't have 13 tricks. And uh, one consequence of, of bidding the 15 plus hands to no trump instead of going through one spade, which is how we normally bid those, um, is that we ended up a little higher to show some of these cards than we otherwise would have. So had we gone through, let's say, like 15 plus balanced hands were rolled into uh, So his, his bidding is perfect. Uh, this is exactly what I expected. Um, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven top tricks, and then uh, we knock out a club for for twelve. I didn't know if he had the queen of clubs, and that would determine if I go to seven or not. Yeah, one alerted, un alerted bid. Finally, um, the and here comes the truth of moment, and uh, here uh, Eric hoping that. Mike ducked with Queen Jack. It's not to be. He can't claim yet because uh, clubs could be 4-1 offside. And in that case, he'd need to rely on either a pseudo squeeze or a legit squeeze of Mike's uh, long club and presumed long heart. But everything breaks, so we're making 6 no trump. Still, it's a pity we ran out of room there. Uh, and there's going to be plenty of people in 6 0. So, no edge on the field. All right, so Kevin's opening three clubs. And uh, I have a hand that's strong enough to balance here. Right, so over three clubs, I can't go three no with a doubleton here, so I'm just going to bid my natural three diamond over call. At normal tables, that went one no, six no. And we honestly didn't bid it too slowly. Over three spades here, uh, I have a pretty, pretty clear four spade bump because I'm not promising any spade tolerance here. He's putting himself out there, and I trust that his spade suit is half decent for this bid. And with my diamonds the way they are, it could provide a source of tricks and four spades. So I think I'm going to take the bump. So if we were rolling that shape into our one spade response, it would go one spade, no, two, no, three clubs, three hearts, three spades, then he goes four spades as before. So we're one full level of bidding lower, and I go four no trump, and then he goes five diamonds to show that, and go five hearts, he goes five spades, so now he's shown all his aces and kings. So then I bid five no trump, and he's starting to show his, six, his queen of clubs. So over five no trump, he would bid six clubs to deny the queen of clubs, and at that point, I've heard enough, I go six no. My beer card tally is sad. I, I built this beer card tally, and, and I'd been winning beer cards up fairly regularly, and then as soon as I put that tally in place, they vanished. They dried up. I haven't earned a single one yet. It's a pity. Makes me want a beer right now. Oh, look, the King of Spades is on side. How lucky. Uh, because, uh, yeah, so he can throw his hearts on the long diamonds, and the spades are splitting. Uh, and I think a trump pull is implicit in this claim here. Uh, but I can't say anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, this happens all the time, right? Either we end up in diamonds, or we have this nice long-running diamond suit, and somebody's holding the singleton seven of diamonds. Yeah, Trump were pulled. Okay. Uh, I lost count. I wasn't paying enough attention, but... 
I'm frustrated. I need to earn another beer. So uh, board five is good just because there were a couple pairs who missed it. Uh, six no trumps normal. Board six is, uh, I think, a good one. Seven no went down two. I love it. I don't know how you go down two, but uh, it's a remarkable decision. You also right side a little bit of right siding equity. So even if the strong hand is now concealed, it is also the revealed hand that is concealed. If you're bidding two, two no trump with strong hands over one club. Uh, and I think Alad will probably be on board with that. Uh, our old systems were using more point count and less controls for determining whether or not we look for slam. But when we have these control scans and the ability to kick over sign offs pretty easily, then we don't need to put those hands into two no trump. While the clock time chimes down, I am going to grab myself something cold and refreshing. Ow. Something cold and refreshing. Blood orange and hibiscus sour from Collective Arts. Do, do, do. I love it. Mm. I'm going to send Alad a text. I think he'll be on board with killing that bid. Don't like having to guess when I don't have to guess. And changing our system a little bit will remove that guess. So, bloop. <sighs> Four spades, uh, good contract there. Um, it's probably a normal spot. Uh, yeah, almost everybody's in it. Uh, there's a range of tricks being made. Uh, I think that they have two clubs they can cash and then on a spade finesse, it makes five. So everybody should be making five here. On a non, excuse me, on a non club lead, you can make six by pitching your clubs on the diamonds after taking out Trump and then roughing a heart and dummy. Few people only make four spades. This pair stopped in two spades. And how do you do that? Well, I guess East has to pass. And then ah, it was Ray and Sandy who convinced their opponents to stop in two spades by not preempting and then i guess south decided not to invite with that hand um it's it's only 10 points and it's quack heavy so i don't hate not inviting there and then the north hand really only does have 14 points technically with you know a couple double tins but points in the short suits both of them edged a little conservative on the hand and that's why they didn't get to game i understand it and especially with West trying to get back into the auction, maybe you just want to try shutting them out. And Alad, as I expected, I got a text response, is on board with killing the one club to no bid. And we'll just roll it into one spade. 
Ah, next round. Cherry and Elad. I like playing these guys. So, uh, Cherry is in second seat. He's about to bid. Eric has already passed. I have a nine count. This is a hand that I could consider opening third seat. But I hate it just a little too much. So I am going to pass and leave it to Elad. I didn't notice it, but I had four tens on the previous hand. Over one diamond, double one spade. I can go two hearts here without worry. I don't know if they play support doubles. I also don't know if they have agreements about whether one spade or one heart over double shows four or five. Clearly, there's some ambiguity. Looks like a lad is going to no trump. I'll play him for a heart stopper. But because I bid hearts, partner's going to lead them anyway. So he probably has something like four to the jack. Hearts is still probably the right suit to lead. I could see a lad bidding two no trump there with three spades, thinking, you know what, I want to play this hand. And then Thierry holding five spades, saying, ah, but I have five spades. I want to be in spades. What's so? We'll see if a lad passes here. I think you can't do anything but pass in this situation. Against three spades, I have to decide how to defend. Uh, pretty clearly, this looks like an ace of hearts. And take a look at the dummy hand. Otherwise, uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I think ace of hearts is fine, and then I can shift to clubs. Or I could play clubs immediately. If there's a king in dummy and a stiff in cherry's hand, then playing the Ace of Hearts might be a bad move. I'm going to play partner for a club honor because he's doubling, right? And he probably doesn't have the king or something. So let's lead a club. And this might set up a trick. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't lead my heart ace. Dummy's hearts are better than I could have possibly imagined. The two no trump bid makes a lot of sense there. And I did hit partner's queen of clubs. So he has something, at least. And uh, I was right in that Elad had three spades. Um, but uh, the tuna trump bid still makes sense, even if you play support doubles, because you know you're getting a heart lead, and that's the lead you absolutely want to see. Looking here, Eric probably isn't in any rush to lead hearts. If I have the ace, it's not vanishing anywhere. And I led a club, so he's continuing with the queen of spades, which is fine. Um, I'm going to play my two of clubs here, which is standard present count. And now uh, Eric is leading his clubs up. And here, um, I can try to cash my ace of hearts, which uh, feels right. If Cherry has something like ace, king of diamonds, we need to cash that now. And then I'll shift to a relatively high diamond spot. All right, so the diamonds are done, and he has the rest. We got it down. Nice. It was a good defense. Uh, good defense. Good club lead. Um, though anything but a heart works, as it turns out. There's just not enough stuff going on for them.
Yeah, we could have got it down too. I guess I misdefended somewhere. Uh, no, he, he has to lead a diamond out, and then he gets a rough. It's not clear at all. So we play a 10 to 12 no trump here. I can't open this uh, one no trump, so I have to bid a 10 to 15 diamond. And it's too weak for a strong club. And we play two clubs, precision, uh, as six plus. So even though it's a good five card suit, I'd rather just open one diamond and then rebid one no trump to show sort of a a 13 to 15 or 16 balanced hand. Here, this is 14, so probably middle of the range. Uh, yeah. Now, my one no trump bid actually does not deny a four card spade suit. I don't believe I need to alert the negative inference, but um, I might be mistaken. Two clubs here is an artificial puppet to two diamonds over which he'll make some kind of invite. And then I have to decide if I want to accept partner's invite. This most likely invite is going to be two hearts, showing a five-card heart suit. And over that, my hand doesn't fit especially well, so I think I'll probably decline. Take a look at the Traveler while I'm waiting for a partner to bid two hearts. Um, yeah, three spades down, one was good. It's, uh, they went a little high. Two no trump is a, not a heart invite, so it's a points invite. He knows I'm in that 13 to 15 or 16 range. Uh, And with five running clubs, I think I will take the no trump invite because um, it's more likely that partner will have uh, stoppers outside of hearts and fitting cards there. If he had a five card heart suit, then there's a good chance he has, say, like a doubleton spade and we have one or zero spade stops. So partner's got a 10 count and it's uh, it's an okay, card, okay hand. The problem is... He doesn't have a third club, and if he had three clubs, this hand's a lot of fun. With only two clubs, I have to get lucky. Uh, Elad is leading the nine of hearts after hearing Eric bid hearts. So what does that mean? Either there's a, a suit he's afraid to lead himself. Uh, that can't be a fourth best heart. So maybe he's trying to hit partner with a heart holding. So it looks like he hit his partner with the queen of hearts. I don't see any reason to play the ace there. Okay. So we've set up two heart tricks. We have one spade and three clubs. That's six. Uh, I can knock out a diamond for seven. If I pick up the club suit, that's eight, nine. So I think my best odds in clubs are trying to drop the jack uh, because we have ace, king, queen, and I can only take a finesse after cashing one high club. So uh, taking a finesse would work if it's jack fourth opposite two small or jack fifth opposite one stiff, but dropping works to pick up jack small offside and jack third offside, which I think is more likely. So I'm going to immediately start on the clubs. Okay, so the club's split, and I have to decide what to pitch from dummy. So the diamonds could be tricks uh, if we have length in the suit. I think it's probably best to just pitch uh, the diamonds from dummy and then maybe one heart from dummy. So Alad started with three hearts. Thierry started with four. Alad also had three clubs. Maybe he has four diamonds and uh, three spades. There's a spade from Thierry. Not even, so he has something in spades. <sighs> let's uh, let's pitch that heart. The ten of diamonds is outstanding. There it is. Oh, he had it. Why would okay? You know he had five. Okay. 
I guess he had nine, eight, seven in addition to his high card, which explains the lead. It was the top of an interior sequence. And Thierry probably has king, queen of spades. No, just one of them. So that went well. It was lucky, but um, you make your own luck. I think most people should be in 3 no there. It's 10 opposite, a uh, good 14. Uh, and I have 9, so I can't open the bidding here. There's a hand that would open a 10 to 12 no tramp if we were allowed to, but playing in the ECBL, you can't. Three passes to Thierry in fourth seat. Let's see if he passes it out. I'm always excited to pass out hands because uh, playing precision, I know partner's limited, and uh, I get the opportunity to pass out with hands like 11 counts and 12 counts that other people are going to be opening in fourth chair. And they've already explained that's a 15 to 17 no trump, so I don't need to ask. I do need to figure out what to lead against a no trump contract, though. So, <sighs> Probably uh, the two of spades, maybe the ace of spades, some spade. But Stamen has happened, so contract's probably not going to be one no trump. Looks like Cherry is not holding a four card major. And if a lad was banking on that, then he's out of luck if he was bidding something like a garbage Stamen. So I don't know if their stamen promises a four-card major there. And uh, Jerry's happy to go. But I uh, have a very good chance of hitting partner with a major suit here. And the question is, do I lead hearts or do I lead spades? It's one of those two suits, and um, I have to make that choice. Let's, uh, let's see. All right, so that didn't work. Partner doesn't like spades. The outstanding spades are the king and the seven and the four, and that's a discouraging spade. Even if he has one more spade, what's it? The king, right? So not really any point continuing spades unless he does exactly the king there. Mm. Would he play the 10 from... Okay. What can I hit him with? Do I need to hit partner with something in diamonds? There's 7, 17, 9, and uh, he has 7 points somewhere. So let's try shifting to hearts. If I had led a low spade, we would have had four top spade tricks if I could get into my hand. Yeah, a low spade gets it down two. Um, anything else gets it down one. Plus score there should be good, but um, because Elad has a sketchy invite, 
but he was pushed into it because of uh, the, the friendliness to a good statement response. But then hearing two diamonds, he was a little high and then Cherry, um, of course, is accepting with a, with a 16 cap. Yeah, we got there. So uh, it's, it, it's good that we did. Um, the act of defense, I think, was the right thing to do. So leading a spade or a heart is, is definitely correct there. But as it happened, the ace was not an effective card. Most people, it looks like, are signing off in one note. So just, we just got the plus score, which is fine. Yeah, he signed up for it because um, the uh, double was of one diamond, right? So Eric hadn't shown the fact that he had force, or he showed tolerance at least for spades by betting double there. So the, uh, the going up to three spades basically on your own, very risky with jack 10 fifth. You're lucky that dummy hits with ace nine small, but it's not enough to save you on that hand. Let's see how uh, this board goes. Any other three no's? No, everybody's uh, stopping in part score there. Somebody bid a garbage stamen and then had the discipline to pass. It looks like Mike and Kevin. Uh, and two dimes actually made it this table. I'm not sure if it's a legit make, but there's always three spade losers. Um, looks to be a heart loser, a king of diamonds. And you should have to lose another diamond there. So this should go down. Uh, props to uh, Mike for making two diamonds there. Of course, being in two diamonds and making it uh, is a second from bottom, just because uh, everybody else is one no making two. A lot of plus scores so far tonight. That's that's reassuring. And um, looks like making uh, making four is a top. Why did I make four there? Well, the defense was the nine of hearts lead, and it wasn't the heart spot that cost me. I think it might have been the heart back by Thierry. If Thierry switches to something like a spade, in particular the 10 of spades would do damage, or any spade would do damage. But they can do better uh, by not playing another heart back, I think. But actually, the, the nine of hearts was the double dummy correct lead, but what you have to do after getting in with that queen of hearts is switch to spades to attack my jack. Instead, Thierry, quite reasonably, I suppose, continued hearts. And then from there, I was able to, um, those are two hearts opening there. I'm going to compete. I was able to encourage my opponents to um, discard their diamonds, yeah, I guess. So two hearts, four hearts to me. And uh, I should say, hi, I have a decision to make. Do I want to remove four hearts here? Um, I think, I think I do. We don't play equal level conversion, unfortunately. So I have to decide between five diamonds and four spades. And I think I'm just going to bid five diamonds here. I, I might hate this bid, but if partner has what ace fourth of spades, then five diamonds is probably fine. Ah, but then four spades is fine. So maybe I should have just bid four spades. I don't think I'm getting doubled here. And I think of four hearts as a shot, so I'm hoping that this... Oh, no. See, this is... I'm getting punished here, unless Stephen decides he likes five hearts better. Please, like five hearts better. Please, please... Oh, no. Okay, so I have to go down two, because I'm sure Rosie has points. And I have to hope that four hearts is on. 
partner does have four spades. Yes, I should have been four spades. But Rosie's doubling the, the diamond contract. So uh, I only have one obvious loser. That's the heart. But I have potential losers in, in diamonds and spades, and I have to figure out how to play those two suits. And Steven's very likely to shift to a black card here. A spade helps sort out the suit for me a little bit. Club does not. And uh, here, so it's four. Ten of clubs is probably from a doubleton. I think Steven probably has shortness in diamonds. Uh, no, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what the diamond split is. I hope they're not 4-0. Um, I'm going to play a diamond to my ace. I don't think Steven has a diamond void. I hope Rosie doesn't have a diamond void. That was a slow five of diamonds. I have to put in the 10. We better play low again. If she plays low again, I don't know what her spot is. Okay. So Steven has showed up with six hearts, zero diamonds. He's actually likely to have spade length. Um, and I don't know if that's a problem. If I give up a diamond and a spade, I'm going to make it. No, I'm going to go down. So I have to hopefully see if I can avoid the diamond loser, but I can't avoid the diamond loser unless Steven's actually like six, five in hearts and clubs. And I don't think he is. So I just guess that I have to play ace and a diamond here. There's not really any alternatives. Maybe the opponents will pitch spades. No chance of a Trump coup. And not a single spade discard up to this point. Which is hinting that Steven is likely to hold maybe queen third or even queen fourth on spades. No! Damn it. Don't think she has any other spades left. Have she had three to the queen? Man, I was so close. That's too bad. It would have got me a, a clear top if I'd made that instead of a share of the top. Again, 15 points. Do I upgrade this to a precision opening? And I'm not going to do it. I don't think Ace King Doubleton is that valuable. So this is 11 to 15, or, or third seat. It's 10 to 15, two plus diamonds. I'm happy to underbid sometimes. Over one spade, I could go, I think I'm going to go one no trump here. It describes my hand better than bidding two clubs. Two clubs would, would show nine plus cards in the minors. Uh, but it doesn't say that much about my strength. And I think I care more about showing my strength here than my exact shape. Partner's a limited hand, so he's not going to do anything too wild. I'm playing one note trump here. Uh, hopefully this is the right spot. Given that he's bidding spades and I have the ace-king hearts, 
I don't think that our home is in a uh, minor suit. So bidding no trump to play, it seems reasonable. So looks like we have five, six, seven, eight, nine top tricks. Uh, however, if diamonds are five, one, we don't. So uh, I missed a game and it's going to haunt me forever. Let's see if I can't get a heart continuation here. There we go. Maybe I should just, I don't know. If I upgrade this to a club, we're gonna get to game. But then diamonds are gonna be 5-1. First hard pitch. Spade. And another spade. So let's see, we've seen four spades from the opponents. Those spades are running. I'm going to concede the beard card at the end in honor of the game that I missed. It makes four all day. Or there's, yeah, it makes four all day. This is not going to be a total bottom. I think other people are going to miss the game there, but. Nobody's in game? What the f? Ridiculous. We don't deserve that one. Uh, 19 high. This is precision for sure. Not going to underbid this one. Ridiculous result. Ridiculous traveler. I'm so sorry for the opponents. Let's see if you have a positive party. Oh, come on. Have a little life. So I'm going to bid a natural forcing one heart bid. Might as well just announce that. Two clubs here is an interesting bit. It shows six or seven points and at most uh, two hearts. And I think over two clubs, I just want to place the final contract at three no trap because he's not bidding a four card spade suit and he doesn't have a heart fit. And I have enough strength to put uh, the contract in three no. We're having a 75% game, imagine that. We get the King of Hearts lead. Curious. Uh, I have a four, five, six, seven, eight top. Question is where is the rest coming from? Um, I could hold up around on hearts and hope that the hearts get continued. It's possible. I could 
win the heart, play mace, can clubs hope the queen of clubs drops. I have two entries to dummy in case I need to set up clubs. If I go to the setup clubs route, then let's say I lose the queen of clubs, I'll get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tricks, probably. So I think I will win round one of the hearts and then uh, play on clubs because that is uh, my clearest path to 10 tricks. If I duck a round of hearts, uh, Stephen might decide to switch to diamonds and then my contract is still probably fine, but it's, it's, it's less fine. Steven, do you, are you out of spades? No, you're not. I will say that hesitation on board 10 really, really hurt Rosie. It wasn't even that long a hesitation, but it was there. It was loud. And uh, honestly, it's something you need to be prepared for if you're on defense against a con like, contract like that. And uh, here comes the other high heart. So Stephen probably would have continued his hearts anyway, and uh, I have the rest after this. Maybe it would have been better. Oh, you only had four? I have the rest. Uh, I'll claim it. If I attack hearts immediately, or, or if I hold up a round of hearts, wait for the queen to get played, knock out a jack, then I can get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tricks again. It's pretty much ten tricks all day. Diamond shift is effective. But I think this contract should be normal. My normal opening bid is a heart. The South has a, a response um, of one no Trump probably. And I go, what, 2 no? South might pass. Probably goes 3 no with some useful cards. So the, the lead was the King of Hearts, which is a good lead for me because it's not a diamond. I'm holding up, uh, hang on a sec. Uh, I'd have to study it further to see what holding up would do. But I'm pretty sure it's... it's uh, costs a trick. Should you bid uh, two clubs on board 11? Well, you've bid it correctly on board 12. On 11, um, I could have 15 points, and you have a good nine. So I think it's reasonable with that spade suit. It's crazy. Nobody bid three no Trump there. It's nine opposite 15, plus five card suits in both hands, uh, tons of aces and kings, fitting nine top tricks, um, seven cards in your outside suit. And, and yeah, because I was able to take 11 tricks as opposed to nine, we got almost all the match points on the hand. And, and one of the sad things about match points against a weak field is that un often underbidding is the right strategy, uh, bidding to suboptimal places, but then just hoping the opponents give you a trick on defense will do better than actually bidding the expected value bid, assuming perfect opponents and, and players at other tables. And this club we play against is not a particularly strong club. It's quite weak. And uh, I think everybody will admit that. Uh, I, I do really well at this club, and I am not a world-class player, so there. But I, I still like to, as much as possible, bid reasonably rather than correct to beat the field. I will shade in favor sometimes of trying to beat this field, but most of the time I will hunt for that sixth of a minor contract, even if I know zero other people are going to be in it. In three no Trump, we'd probably get 75% anyway, and six clubs has a 20% chance of going down, right? 
those are hands I'd still hunt for six clubs, even if against this field, three no trump is the better place to be. Because against a better field, six clubs is the right place to be. And I want to practice for when I'm eventually playing against stronger fields um, and not just uh, quarantine bridge against the Hart House Bridge Club. Farming gold points. Speaking of farming gold points, we're at 75% um, halfway through the game. So unless we really tank it, we are uh, well positioned. And yeah, so uh, more results have come in there. So it's no longer tied for top. The board's about average, which for going double down one is not the worst thing in the world. This ends up being tied for top because of the unfairness of the world. And this last one should be good too. Uh, 630 is, is actually not a top but it's a solid enough result. It's average right now, but it's not going to end up being below. I wonder how many people lead a low heart against uh, three no trump. So yeah, uh, another good round. Uh, actually dragged us down because we were at 75. Uh, so the question here is, do I open three clubs with this? Because two clubs is uh, not available. And my suit's not good enough vulnerable, so I'm going to pass this. Let's say hi first. There are some players who would open this three clubs, and I'm not one of them. If this was ace-king, I probably would. So, partner is doubling one heart, and uh, it'll be my call after West bids. And I have to decide how many clubs I want to bid. Two clubs might be an underbid. I have a very good quality six-card suit. Do I have much outside of clubs? I have the Stiff Queen of Spades, which is not a... Okay, now it's a useless card. I think just bidding two clubs is fine. But if I bid three clubs, it really puts a wrench in their bidding. So I'm going to bid three clubs here. Partner knows that I, I have the ability to open three clubs with a six-card suit. So he shouldn't play me for much more than I have here. But um, three clubs offers preemptive value, and I'm happy to do that. Partner's going three. No, I hope he's not expecting that much more. Uh, this is the kind of suit he should expect from me. I hope he's not expecting too many cards outside of, uh, of that. So he's his hand is probably a hand with... Okay. Oh, no. Okay. He's got a stiff club. He had a strong double, which um, if I'm looking here, I don't like. I think his hand is too weak for the strong double. It's only 16, and some of those points aren't working. Wow, that spade shift is killer. And yeah, we, with, a, with a club opposite, a stiff club opposite my long clubs, uh, three no trump doesn't have play. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think partner realized that. So now we've lost three tricks. And uh, honestly, our best shot is in diamonds. I wasn't watching the spade subbots closely enough to see if that eight is good now. It might be. Let's see if West covers. West thinks and ducks. Okay. And now uh, Eric has a, a three-way choice here. So he's, he's doing the entry finesse, which loses after a, a slow two of clubs by West. This jack of diamonds is, is clearly leading to a, a failed finesse. Oh, it works. Okay. And now Eric can um, play his ace of diamonds, but I think a low diamond to the nine could work. Now he knows where the king of diamonds is. So this diamond will lose to East... Of course, had Eric flown ace of clubs there, he still has to lose a trick to the uh, king of clubs. So it's not like the hesitation ended up costing anything. And uh, the eight of spades, uh, I don't think is a winner at this point, but if I lost track, it might be. And it's possible Eric's three no trump bid uh, I guess it was over three hearts. 
I don't like three no trump over three hearts. Um, just play defense with that hand. The nine of spades is the card you want to see. Um, and if Eric was in two no trump and two no trump was game, he could have earned a beer card there. But unfortunately, no dice. Uh, he's down one here. So that's an alas. It's not going to be a good board because I think we do a lot better playing defense. Huddle into losing to the Stiff King. Oh my god. That's gross. Huh. I guess you do better to duck. Yeah, three no makes at this table. One heart by partner. I have 11. Uh, so this is less than a game force. Uh, I'm going to alert this as natural and less than game forcing values. Because I, uh, with game force, would bid two clubs, which is our artificial game force. Over a two spade bid, which shows four spades, I could make some kind of game try here, but I think I'm actually going to blast it because mm, do I invite with this? Ah. Uh, I think this is just a three spade invite here because we could be wide open in clubs or spades. So I'm going to bid three spades. And if it makes, it makes. If it's down, it's down. He knows I, I have less than game forcing values, of course. But the king of hearts might not be worth anything. So I can't fully value it. If partner has the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts, then we want to be in four, but... I'd rather not run that risk, and partner knows that. So partner's got uh, the perfect hand for me, unfortunately. So we're going to make four here. However, it's 11 opposite 11, so. So what next? I have a couple diamond losers I need to rough. I have a club loser I need to rough. I have a spade finesse that I can't take if I'm roughing all those tricks. So what am I going to do? Let's... Uh, Let's think about this. Is it cross rough? Nice play. Well, the jack holds. That means I have one fewer diamond to rough and dummy. So when I, what I could do is instead of trying to rough diamonds and dummy right now, rough a heart to hand and take a spade hook. Yeah, let's try that. Could probably afford to rough slightly higher there. And I should play my jack of spades here to induce a cover. Well, King of Spades is offside, so that's promising. And then if I can catch my Ace of Diamonds, I have a complete cross rough off the hand. So let's see. I, this should be the Queen, though. Um, and then I can claim. Cross rough. My King of Hearts actually did not end up being a useful card in the end, but Partner's shape meshed very well with mine. 
and his spade cards in particular were useful for the auction. He only had 11 points, so I think we're probably not going to be alone in the missing game here. And at match points, you don't need to push for every game. It is frustrating when there are people making five and clearly passing in third seed here. And I don't think I should make five there. Uh, actually, on a diamond lead, you can make five by getting rid of that club loser and dummy and then roughing those. At this table, the normal King of Clubs lead happened, and then um, I'm not sure what happened after that. It looks like Ray and Sandy gave up the extra tricks. So at this point, uh, they still have the Ace of Hearts available to cash, but did not do so. And one spade, one no. This is a pass. All right, so the final spot's one no, and I only have six points, and partner passed, so he's limited to about ten, and I have six. This is definitely the opponent's hand. One of them is underbidding. And uh, how do I avoid catastrophe here? If West is the underbidder, West has maybe at most 11 points. East is probably underbidding here. Why would East underbid? East might underbid with a hand without a good spade suit, or... Hmm. Okay. Not sure if I love pass by East here. partner has uh, nine or ten points, then if all those points are in one of the two minor suits, then perhaps we can defeat this contract. Of course, West has the jack of spades. Interesting, a club up. I'm going to put my king in. Why a club here? What are you trying to establish? Do you have the ace? You have entries to dummy and hearts. Do you want me to shift to diamonds? Are you afraid of a diamond shift? Why not start with the ace if you have the ace of clubs? Maybe you have six clubs in hand. Maybe you have ace, jack, fifth of clubs. The jack of spades. A heart card. I'm going to lead a diamond here. Hope to hit partner with the ace. So that jack is probably from Queen Jack. Now partner knows he doesn't... Okay, yeah. Here. Pitch my heart. I'm curious as to why no... Um, why those spades weren't cashed. Because the spades are good. Now, do we actually defeat this contract? Oh, so close. I, I don't really understand that line of play. There's eight top tricks and we took seven. So um, hopefully uh, this is good enough for a top. I, it should be. I can't imagine anybody taking fewer than... 
a tricks there. Definitely got away with one. So let's take a look at the round as a whole. Board 13, not great. We bid up to a three note trump that went down, made at other tables. So this is below average. Um, obviously we have company going to three note and getting down, um, but had we done something like stop and diamonds, we'd be okay. Or defend two or even three hearts, we would have been laughing. So not a great board. But then 14, uh, we missed a game. Uh, but it's not the easiest game to bid, and 170 actually ends up being slightly above average there. The last one uh, should be a top board. It's hard to do uh, worse than they did. They have eight off the top, and if they're in three, no trump, I think their best line is to just play up to their queen, jack, of diamonds. And in that case, they'll... Well, it's not entirely clear how to take the ninth trick, but you have options, and I'm sure they're worth exploring. Actually, against uh, three no trump, the king of clubs lead will hold it to two double dummy, and any other lead gives the defense the tempo, or gives the player the tempo to establish a diamond trick, I think. So that's that one. So 90 should be a top unless there's folks in three no trump down. Uh, some people in spades. Spades is pretty much the same tricks. Nine or maybe ten. Five, six, seven, eight. Eh, maybe there's only eight tricks in spades. Still beats uh, one no trump making. We have three minutes left on the round. We've been motoring through these. So I think this is going to pull us down a bit just because of how high we were at. Uh, everything's finally in for this and it's a four spades contract, unfortunately, so not great for us. But we are three better, four worse, slightly above average board, uh, below average board, and then should be a top. So we'll get a 60% round or something like that. Haven't done the math. But I'll take it. Let's just try to stay above 70. The promised land. Still, a lot of plus scores tonight. 11 plus, 4 minus, including a streak of 9 pluses in a row. Sorry, 8 pluses in a row. Whether or not you're scoring the boards well, it's always nice to see plus scores. And in terms of um, the quality of, of the boards, uh, board 1 was our worst board. We had a 25% board because we didn't push them into 5, which goes down. Um, it wasn't clear for either of us whether or not we should push. I was uh, accurate, if heavy, for my one diamond opening. And then partner just can't bid over four hearts, not knowing uh, very much about the hand at all. And I, I didn't want to step out in case four hearts was down one. And we partner has a misfit for me. If I bid four spades, I can't. But if I do, hypothetically, we have a diamond loser, a couple club losers. Uh, and a spade loser. We're probably down in four spades or five diamonds, but it's still better than letting them make four hearts. Anything is really. But that was our one bad hand of the night until this round, where 13 is a below average board. Still a top. Gotta love it. So I expected that to pull us down a little more. I guess I'm bad at math. So we're still above 71%. And I have a 14 count. So I'm opening the bidding one heart if it comes to me. It's Frank and George. Hi, Frank and George. So George is going to open something, probably. No, he, he's going to pass. No, he's going to pass. Yeah, George is going to pass. I'm going to open one heart. And then Eric has to decide what to bid, so we'll see. I like my hand. Lots of aces, lots of kings. Well, one king. Lots of points in my important suits. 
So as far as 14 counts go, it's a very good one. Six and a half losers. Three and a half great tricks. Five controls. One spade here we're playing as a limited hand. So he is in most an invite. And if George bids, he's not bidding. Okay. So uh, systematically, I think I have to bid one no Trump here because we don't play three card races in this situation. But if I get another chance to bid spades, I will. Looks like I don't. So hopefully the opponents don't have eight running tricks in the minors when we have nine top tricks in spades. Good. So partner does have five spades. On a normal spade break, we're taking five spade tricks, the ace of hearts, the ace of diamonds, that's seven. The club lead is good because it sets up clubs for us. We should be able to set up a couple of club tricks. Um, the problem is that George, if he's awake, is going to shift to diamonds after trick one. So uh, if I play my queen of clubs here, that'll encourage continuation of the suit. If I play low, uh, he might decide to switch. But if I fly queen anyway, it just weakens my club suit, and then they can attack that and set the diamonds anyway. So I'll play low here. Maybe I should have put the seven in. That might have been look tricky looking. And then here, drop my two. Interesting. A heart shift, not a diamond. So if I fly ace here and knock out the king of clubs, I think I might get another heart through. Don't feel the need to take a finesse here. My spades are concealed, so they don't know that we've got probably five running spade tricks. And Frank does well to hold up here. I don't know if he will. He doesn't. He can't really know my uh, club count and my spade holding at that point. And what I'm hoping to see is a heart continuation, but it's a club. But I can deal with that. So instead, maybe I should have thrown a heart there to be deceptive. But I think what I'm going to do is play the eight of spades to my ace. Play the Queen of Hearts. <sighs> Get stuck. So now I don't need to continue hearts. I'm just going to finish testing spades. Let's, we'll see if Frank shows out. He does not. So here, I could win three spades, the queen of clubs, the ace of diamonds. I just have to give up the ace of hearts. Or king of hearts, I should say. making four. I didn't spend too much time thinking about how four spades plays, but on a diamond lead, uh, you do have to do some work to immediately pitch your diamond losers because you have two diamond losers along with two clubs, and you have to guess the hearts right in order to get that done. Some people are going to be in four making, I'm sure. Some people in three spades. Other people in three, no. 
But uh, I'm wrong about all of that. Um, we have a top board by taking the most tricks and no trump. Look at that. Club bridge. 16 count. I'm heavy on aces and kings. This is a hand I'm... I'm uh, we play one diamond is 10 to 16 here, so there are 16 counts that would open uh, one diamond here, but I'm upgrading this, so uh, I'm calling this 16 plus artificial. Yeah, it's a very control-heavy hand. Jacks in my long suits. Stoppers everywhere. I hit partner with a minimum, of course. George in fourth seat is thinking about what we've been so far and is considering jumping in, it looks like. Two spades, eh? Well, over two spades, I don't really have a bid. Partner reopens with a double. I'm very happy to pass him, but after my ethical 10-second pause, I will pass. A double by me would be takeout, so I can't crack that. I happen to have about six defensive tricks in my hand alone, so... If Eric opens with it, reopens with a double, I'll, I'll leave it in. Now there are hands that he can't do that. No, just bid three minor or something. So he doesn't even have the strength to make a reopen a double, meaning I have to figure out how to defend this on my own. So I have four suits with important cards in them, and I don't want to blow a trick. So I have to figure out which of these suits to lead. I think the Ace of Clubs is probably the safest. Oh, no. But eh, maybe it's not bad. Partner will give attitude on this. Um, the 5 and the 3 are low cards. I don't know where the 5 is. I don't know where the 8 is. The 6 is ambiguous. I don't know if I can continue the suit. But I think regardless of his signal, I'm going to continue it anyway. Unfortunately, if partner has king third, I don't want George to... Okay, so George is now rough partner's king of clubs. And uh, partner's limited to seven points, so I know that he can't have very much more. If he had another ace, say, um, and here, I think George probably has the ace of diamonds, so I, I can't afford to fool around there. If that's a count card, then I can duck a diamond here. I'm hoping that he has two diamonds, one club, six spades, four hearts. And now the question is, which card do I play that does not blow a trick? If my read of the count of the hand is correct, then I probably need to play a low spade out of hand. If partner had a doubleton diamond, then I need to play a diamond. The question is, what's going on in diamonds? So, <sighs> I don't know where the nine of diamonds is. That's key. I think that probably the most likely scenario is that the nine of diamonds belongs to George, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Would Eric play the 10 from 10 9 there? Maybe. I think I have to play a spade. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, brutal. Brutal hand. Should have played a damn diamond. Should have given me accurate diamond count. Fortunately, 
he's going for the heart finesse method. Please have the Queen of Hearts partner. Yes! He can make that by playing high spade, low spade, and then end playing me. I'm forced to go to dummy. Whew, that was close. Should have gone better. Um, yeah. Tough one to defend. Looks like double dummy, the best lead is the ace of spades. I wonder what the correct continuation after the ace of spades is. I'll study it later. So I have a nice hand again. I think a plus score should be good here. Um, yeah, it's above average. Getting it down one more would have been better. Partners managed to muster up a three spade overcall here. And that gets me excited because I have an absolute rock crusher. So I'm going to jump into key card and then put us in slam. Hopefully. If partner has two keys, we should be in slam. Partner has one key. So over four diamonds, I think four no trump is pretty clearly key card. If I had a hand that thought it could play four no trump to make, I'd probably double four diamonds for penalty. Please don't, please don't pass me in four no trump. Okay, so that's one key card. Uh, I don't know about the Queen of Spades yet, but if partner's overcalling at the three level, I'm going to place him with it, and uh, we're going to bid six of something. And the question is six spades or six no trumps. So if he has, uh, say, six spades to the ace, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Spades is wrong sided, but we're probably getting a diamond lead, not like a queen of clubs lead against six spades. So it might be right to put it in six spades anyway. He's denying the queen of spades here, and yet he almost certainly has six spades for his bid. Six. Also, he should have a diamond void here. It's likely he has a diamond void. And if so, we can pitch a bunch of clubs. If he's 5-5 five, five in the blacks with three hearts, and he has no queen of spades, we should still be in six spades. So I'm bidding six spades, counting on a non-club lead. because I think that it overall offers more opportunities than six no trump, even if it happens to be right-sided. So partner actually does have the queen of spades and lied about it, which is fine. I accept it. Uh, next uh, is this situation. So 
we probably just throw that queen of clubs on the table here uh, just to false card it. I'm not sure why partner denied the queen of spades. All right, this is a claimer. Uh, six no trump uh, is six, seven, eight, nine, ten top tricks. So it's uh, worse. Glad we were in spades instead of no trump. And he did happen to have a black two suitor, but he had six spades to the ace, queen, jack, instead of five spades to the ace, which is sort of what I was expecting. And no beer card here either. I definitely need to subscribe to, subscribe to some of the other bridge streamers streams so that I can use their Twitch emotes. That beer card emote is nice. And uh, Wylia has some nice bid um, Bridge emotes. So that was a really good round. Uh, that one no trump making four was excellent. Getting two spades down was great because it was a plus score, not because we necessarily played it well that well. And six spades making is good, um, even if it's pretty normal. Some people stop short, um, but I don't like stopping short there. It feels cowardly. So I have another big hand, but the opponents have opened the bidding. This is a hand that's strong enough to double and then bid. And so that's the approach I'm going to take. It's John and Trish. And we're sitting at 74% with six hands left. So we, we, we'll see if we can keep this going. But uh, looks like we're in line for some quality golds tonight. Eric, what you got? One spade. So one spade is limited to about an eight count. So I um, have a 19 count with six diamonds. Uh, so I'm going to bid two diamonds. hearts by partner so he has some stuff in the majors but in three no trump on a club lead i have nine tricks so i'm just going to go three no trump and hope that john obeys his partner's opening bid and that's assuming the diamonds are running which they quite they might not be if partner has, you know, 10 cards in the majors and uh, three clubs and a uh, void in diamonds, then I might only have three diamond tricks, two clubs, and a spade. But that would be unlucky, and I don't feel like being unlucky. So John's a good partner. He's leading his partner's suit, and that'll set up uh, two club tricks for me. If diamonds are 3-2, I'm going to get six diamond tricks. Let's also quickly count points. The partner has five. I have 19. Uh, Trish should have at least 11. Leaving John with at most five. Okay, so does it matter what I play here? I'll play low. There's the ace. And uh, I expect Trish to continue clubs. But it looks like she's putting a diamond on the table. Funny. So why would she switch away from clubs to diamonds? Well, who knows? Do I have entries to dummy? No. But 
I have the tempo to do something like run the Jack of Hearts here. The Jack holds, which is very interesting. So two hearts hold, and now I think I can abandon the heart suit, continue diamonds. The question is, do I put in the 10 here? If John has four hearts, the ace, queen. No, I think I have to play high here. Hope for three, two diamonds. Yeah. Now I hope the opponents get their signals crossed. But Trish almost certainly has the King of Spades, so it'll come down to if she wants to bear that King of Spades. She did start with, what, two hearts, a bunch of clubs, uh, three diamonds. So if she has a stiff King of Spades, then I can pick up the rest. I don't think she did. For some reason, she pitched a spade there. I guess she lost count. All right, so that should be a good result. Oh, very, very happy 490 there. Um, the defense was a little friendly. They can hold me to four if they know when to take their tricks. So that should be another top. Um, we're really cruising tonight. We're on track for an official ACBL big game. And uh, with this suit, I am, of course, going to preempt to three hearts. My shape is not exciting, but it, this is the standard bid, so I'm going to make it, just like everybody else in my position would. Yeah, and you can see that 490 required a few gifts there. Trish held up too long on the hearts and then also pitched her low spade from hand. Both of those ended up costing. So partners bumped me to four hearts here, and he's an unpassed hand, so he might be doing this on strength of hand, or he could be trying to preempt. I don't know yet. Because both of the opponents are bidding, it's probably preemptive, but because of my lack of shape, I am worried about getting doubled in four hearts and going for a number. So we'll see if John has a second double in him. He does. And now it's up to Trish to decide if she'll leave it in. And she pulls it. A big bid. I can't imagine John bidding over four spades here. And now partner's got a double. So I have to figure out how to defend this. Partner's double, or his, his bid must have been on strength. And if it's on strength, I might be advised to lead a spade cut down on potential roughs, but if there's roughs, they're of hearts, and the hearts are already our suit. It might be good to just lead a heart, get partner on lead, and make him decide. I'm going to take our heart trick. Dummy is nine points with four spades of the queen, ten, nine. Uh, the first double, I think, is fine. The second double is pushy, for sure. And uh, it's telling me that partner probably has points here. Um, 
And it looks like he bid four hearts, holding a stiff nine of hearts. And I just gave up a trick with my lead from my seven card suit that he raised. It's possible that the opponents can set up diamond pitches and avoid a heart loser in the end. Kind of rough here. If I was in four hearts, I have to lose two heart tricks. Uh, the Ace of Diamonds, and uh, it's unclear what else, because I don't know what partner's diamonds are. Um, is Trish out of spades? That would be bad. Okay, she's not. She decided she played the king. So Trish started with four spades. Um, and I gave away a trick with my heart lead. And she still should have one more spade in hand. So it's going to come down to uh, diamonds. And it looks like the diamond play is effective there. I don't know what her clubs are, so she's roughing in. She's going to pitch that hard from dummy, and unfortunately, the diamonds are such that dummy's good. So, we only beat it by one trick. I think that if I lead more passively, it's still the same thing. But, um, I don't know. Is this a pitch or a trump? Or Yeah, had I defended passively, I think we do get one more heart at the end. So, maybe that would have worked better. But we got a plus score there. That's nice. Um, and again, I'm not convinced that we're making uh, four hearts, but we might. It's close. So somebody go went down three and four spades doubled. Three hearts made four at a different table. And you can see that three hearts can be held to three. I have four points. I'm passing. But there's always a spade loser, two heart losers, and a diamond loser in uh, four hearts. Unless you miss defend. In four spades, I think double dummy, it's down two. So it is double dummy down two. Uh, no, no, that's not right. A diamond lead ends up being down three. On a diamond lead, we can get a diamond rough, as it turns out. So we'll get the king of diamonds, a rough, uh, the ace king of clubs, the ace of spades. That's five tricks. And then eventually I'll score my king of hearts. So that defense would have been very killer. But partner had a hand I wasn't expecting, and we only beat it by one trick. Hopefully that won't cost us too many match points. Partner has a one diamond overcall, and even though I have four diamonds to jack, I really don't want to bid red on white with this garbage. Overall, the plus score is good there, and we're beating all the folks in a heart part score. Still a good board. <sighs> Partner again pushing forward on diamonds. Now, I'm not really offering any roughing value, but I could consider a a little three heart three diamond bid. I, but it's 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 just I'm not offering value to partner. The tricks he has in hand are the tricks that I'm offering him. And Trish hasn't given up on this auction yet. She's bid new suits every time, so she might have game-forcing values. I don't know. Or an invite. Looks like she has an invite. It was a slow invite, and partner's bid twice, so I don't expect John to accept, even though I'm weak. But he does. Interesting. All right, so the contract's four spades, and my choices are diamond lead or trump lead. Heart lead seems bad. Club lead doesn't seem effective. So a diamond lead would ensure we get our diamond trick or tricks immediately. Probably just one trick. A spade lead would, in theory, cut down on roughs. But I think the best thing to do is just lead diamonds. Uh, third from even is fine. 
Partner should have ace, queen, sixth. And Trish probably is 5-4 in the majors for this auction. 5-4 in the majors, stiff diamond, three clubs. If she has the king of clubs, then uh, this hand's going to be easy. If not, it's going to be hard. If she roughs too high here, we're happy. But um, it looks like... So she might have a spade finesse, and if she does, she'll try to cross the dummy to take it. If she doesn't have a spade finesse, okay, so here. Now again, Trish bid hearts. She should have four hearts. Um, she's already roughed one diamond, so she has two spades in hand, one club, and three hearts. So she is pulling this last trump here, which is the correct thing to do. But um, I still think we've got this beat, because I play a diamond, she roughs in, she pitches a heart. No, she has the ace of hearts here. So unless um, she has five hearts and only two clubs, this contract is going to make. So we'll see uh, what her shape is. Alas. So she did well not to try to cash her clubs first. And making four is going to be a good board for them. Our streak of good boards is probably snapped with this one. It's 10 points opposite 14, so even if it looks to be a good game, it's still on paper a little pushy. There's nothing we can do, I think, to defeat it, but um, she made all the right decisions in that she didn't screw up. It's easy to screw up playing bridge. And the heart finesse is on side if she takes it. Yeah, so you can see bidding and making four spades is going to be an excellent result for them. Do I have a sacrifice? Nope. But yeah, this was not a top, but still above average, certainly on pace with a 75. And then this one uh, should be an absolute top. Um, yeah. The last one hopefully won't be an absolute bottom. Yeah, so there are other people bidding up to four spades, but you can't do much better holding the east-west cards than to bid and make four spades. So that'll pull us down. Um, overall, the round was above average, but it'll drag us down uh, to... Probably low 70s again at this point. Oh, board 16, should you bid two hearts over one no? Um, what's two hearts? 
Uh, no. Um, I don't know what two hearts would be there, but not two hearts. It's Ray and Sandy for the last match of the night. I wonder if they're having a good game. I know we are. Hallad's not watching tonight, or at least not publicly, but I'm sure he'll be praying for us that we do badly. I have 17 points. Pretty quack heavy. But the opponents have already started bidding here. And uh, my options are double or bid spades. My clubs are so bad that double will yield a, a club bid. Uh, so I'm just going to bid my spades. So yeah, that round did drag us down by 1.6%, even with a top and an above average result, just because that last one was not excellent. So if we're lucky, we get to uh, 75. If we're unlucky, we get to below 70. So hopefully our luck can continue. Sandy in balancing seat has a choice to make. Well, she doesn't have four spades because she didn't bid a spade. Uh, but she's going three diamonds, which is an interesting call here. What's my defense against three diamonds? Uh, how bad is it? It's honestly pretty fine, I think. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's take a quick look at what's going on here. My partner's leading the five of spades. That's good because the king is a dummy. I'll put in my jack. <sighs> There's the six. So the two is still outstanding. Um, I am, how concerned am I that a spade is going to get discarded? Well, moderately. I'm going to play out the jack of clubs here. That four looks pretty encouraging. Unfortunately, I don't have another club to play him. What I do have is my ace of spades. So if I play ace and give partner a rough, then he might be able to give me a rough. And Ray has showed up with the ace of clubs. Probably not the king of clubs or jack. I have the jack of clubs. The queen jack of diamonds. Nothing in spades. So he probably has king queen of hearts. So what I'm going to do here is play my ace of spades. Do I try to cash my ace of hearts? No, there's no need. Ray should have both king queen. Give partner a rough. Partner should play back a club here. Check and rough. Now I'll go ahead and cash my ace of hearts. If I'm lucky, we get one more. Now, I don't think we'll be alone getting plus 200 here. I'm pretty sure it's to have another club, right? Yeah. And then that's good. But plus 200 is a good result at match points. So we'll see. Uh, had we been in hearts, uh, we can make a heart part score. So we have two diamonds, a, a club, and a heart loser. So we can make three hearts. But plus 200 is better than that. It looks like two spades is down at these other tables, so I'm glad that I elected to defend, or, or more glad that Sandy competed with a hand not suited to compete over two spades. And the auction at these other tables is actually identical up until Sandy's decision. So unfortunately, poor Sandy made the wrong choice. And uh, I sort of have a mixed raise type here, but... Is closer to preemptive, so I'm going to say preemptive three spade raise.
Good board. That might push us up to 75 with two hands to go. Can taste it. Taste it. A big bid by Ray. Four diamonds. That's above clubs, so Sandy can't sign off in clubs. But she's passing four diamonds here. And in this situation, I think pass is clear because there's a good chance that they've got some kind of game here that they're missing, and Sandy might have missed a forcing bid. So I have to pass. Uh, the king is unfortunately not useful here because he is five. Dummy is three. I have four. So um, I have to choose what to signal. Um, let's try the five of spades, which hopefully should be interpreted as some kind of suit preference because I pretty clearly have four spades on this auction. So partner should read the fact that I have the ace of hearts. So he does, that's good. So I need to win that ace. And now Ray didn't double. Could Eric have a singleton heart? If he had a singleton heart, uh, I, I don't see that as being likely at all. I need to hit him with the ace of clubs. Nice. And uh, I'll play a heart back in case Eric's out. She isn't. And I can't imagine we're getting any more. So down one is plus 100. That's not as good as us making three spades. So I haven't checked to see if three spades makes, but we do have a lot of aces. So there's a very good chance that uh, four diamonds undoubled is a good save over three spades. And uh, yeah, so in three spades, we have one, two, three four losers. We can make three spades, so this might not be a good board. Um, we'll see as more results come in, but I, I'm not super optimistic. So I have a 10 count. Second seat, uh, regardless of colors, this is a 10 to 12 no trump now. So this last board will probably swing a little bit because most people don't play weak no trumps or mini no trumps, and uh, that can result in some variation over the field. Hopefully it'll be in our favor. Checking back to board 22, where we had a plus 200. Um, plus 200, unfortunately, is no longer a top. It's a second. And this last one, uh, still nothing else in. And I've already bid my hand, so I have to pass. Four hearts by Ray is the final spot. And I don't know what Eric has. Eric should know what I have in terms of relative shape and strength, but nothing else. So looks like Sandy's pretty broke here with just three jacks. And Eric's underleading something, but I don't know what. Now, he hasn't managed to hit me with anything, but he doesn't have touching honors. So probably Ray has king, queen, of, or ace, king of clubs here. Um, But I'm giving count. Hopefully, partner interprets this as count. Because this is clearly forcing out the ace. Um, partner probably has four to the queen. Maybe four to the king. No, four to the queen. And uh, I'll play my five first. Six of spades discourages spades. So he should be giving standard present count now in spades. wonder if partner has five spades. <sighs> oh, jeez. Dang it. 
I guess I have to cash my Ace of Diamonds. I didn't realize that partner was leading a doubleton on that hand. So that's bad. That could cost us. Yeah, plus 100 here. It's not good. Man, should have cashed out. I just didn't realize that the, the club position was that. If Eric leads up, no, so this is that other one. It ends up being average-ish because people are in three, no, going down three and other adventures. This last one's not going to be good. Um, on board 16, over one, no. Bad last round. So 22, second to top, but then 23, probably a little below average, and then 24 should be tied for bottom. Just blowing that one trick is really bad. Partner leads a diamond, or if I know to stay awake and cash my ace when I get in, then we're happy, but it just didn't work out. partner, of course, he carded with the six of spades. Maybe like the eight of spades would have been clearer, but still hard to tell. I didn't know anything about his shape. If he goes four spades in that situation, we have a spade loser, a heart loser, um, a diamond loser, two clubs. Uh, it's a good sack, actually. I think it's perfectly reasonable with his hand. Uh, fortunately, uh, somebody managed to let them take 13 tricks, so we're not total bottom on this one. But I don't expect that to go very well. Um, I wonder how that got played, but in the meantime, I'm just going to join one of these tables and see what's up. This is an Alan and Robert versus Kevin and Michael. They're in four hearts, and they're going to make six as well. Again, not a total bottom. I'll take it. I guess it is hard to know to cash the, um, the high diamond. On this hand, actually, they get their diamond in place of a heart. And what Alan's actually deciding which one to pitch. If he's lost track of, of partner's count, he might pitch wrong. So if if he was counting, or no, this is this is Robert. Robert uh, should know that his spade is the last spade in the hand, but he might get it wrong. Uh, also, it doesn't matter because his partner has the king anyway. But he made the right call. Ace, king, queen, jack on the last trick. The defense was probably something like a heart lead there. Yeah. And yeah, so if you get a heart lead and you take the opportunity to use the club entry to take a second heart finesse, that's what happened. 480 is uh, not great just because it's so easy to get 450 there. But um, not, not a bottom. And then 23, I think more results have probably come in. 100 ends up being right smack dab in the middle. So in this round, we're getting a second from top, a right smack dab in the middle, and then um, this slightly below average result. Overall, an above average round, but not on par with what our previous results have been, something in the 50. So it'll drag us down by a couple percentage points. And uh, I think it's touch and go. I'm not sure if we clear 70 for the game. So this is a hand that the North has passed and East is opening a, a strong two clubs. 
it has a lot of playing strength. I don't I don't hate this. This is a 22 count. I didn't realize the hard card strength in addition to the playing strength. Uh, you East has nothing, but uh, or West has nothing, but I assume that East will, regardless of West's cards, push onto four hearts. In four hearts, you have a heart loser, a diamond loser, and a club loser. You have ten tricks in your own hand. Um, as the cards lie, the jack of clubs is a bonus trick. You should be able to take eleven. And South is coming in with an I'm light two spades. Uh, I don't know. Two spades is, is an option. I like four spades better. <laughs> yeah, there's some bridge left to play in this uh, in this tournament. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Dorian has an awesome hand in response to two spades. Dorian's definitely got a raise to at least a three level. If they find a four spade sack, they're going to be very happy because four spades is only off uh, five tricks. Or actually, when you drop that queen of diamonds, uh, you can make it if the opponents um, cast their ace of spades and defend badly from there, but other than that, the um, and three spades, four hearts, probably normal here. Or even four spades, five hearts. Uh, I don't imagine East stopping short of five hearts holding that hand. We need half a match point from the last three tables to clear 70. Let's see if we get it. I mean, you've got seven minutes to go. Where is Dorian? Three clubs. Uh, what? Oh, I really hope three clubs doubled is down like 20. Double. Come on, double it. Well, now Stephanie's likely to lead a club. So there's a club lead. Unfortunately, this is probably the kind of club lead where when North gets in with the King of Hearts will not prompt a club continuation. If you're thinking that South of Spades... You might just lead a spade, but a spade is as effective as a club here. Also, the jack of clubs play blocks the suit immediately. So because hearts are 3-1 and Dorian's not going to fly king here, um, this limits the hand to 11 tricks. So we're not getting any match points out of this table.
If you decide that you're going to eschew the hard fast entirely, win the club in hand, play ace and the queen of hearts, then uh, you give up on a two-card king on side, but then you get the opportunity of collecting north's spade back or something and then pitching the diamond lizard. So that would be the benefit. But uh, yeah, making five, so nothing for us out of that table. Brutal. Couldn't find a sacrifice. This table is... Well, I don't know what's going on here. This is this is not good bridge. Wait, no, it's in four no Trump. Oh, actually, four no Trump can make seven here. And four no Trump. The six of hearts is the key heart to play. Can you find the six of hearts? No! No! You were supposed to play the six of hearts! No! No! Oh, just so sad, so close. And now this is this is down because it's in four no Trump. Oh. Who's counting on you? Who's counting on that? Oh. It's the top of it. Just leave your top of a doubleton and, and, and you'll get 13 tricks. You'll get a top board on this hand if you just put in your six of hearts instead of your two of hearts. But no, you play your two of hearts off dummy and then you're stuck. You're stuck. No, no. And now you're down two. You're down. What a sad result. Well, somebody actually went down three. So we got one, two and a half match points on this last board, I think. All right, drum roll, please. Final result. First place, 69.87. So close to 70. It's worth, uh, you know, a chunk of gold points. That's great. Um, happy, I guess. But we were so close to 70. Would have been nice. Anyway, uh, Good night.